This Wiccan deck is super powerful, the most difficult deck to pilot, so good luck if you decide to use this one. This is also a very expensive deck, so if you don't have some of the cards, you can ask me what would be a suitable replacement, but it's going to be a little tricky to replace the cards in this deck. We have Zabu, which can help us get Wiccan down a turn earlier. Psylocke serves that same purpose. We have Kyera, who can help protect both your one cost and your six cost cards. You may be able to substitute her out for armor. Those one cost cards include Sunspot, Kitty Pride, and Maria Hill, which also provides a two cost card. A two cost card that we're bringing in our own deck is Havoc, who you definitely don't want to play on turn two, but if you can get that extra energy from Wiccan, Havoc's downside is completely nullified. There is also Hazmat, who helps power up Ajax. In combination with Psylocke, you may have seven energy on the last turn where you can play them both. Or with Wiccan's bonus energy, you can just play both because of him. Our six cost cards are Red Hulk and Scar, who can get discounted pretty significantly depending on how much extra energy you have. Your Sunspot may have soaked enough with Wiccan's help. So let me show you how this deck performs. Okay, next up we have Tonito Blanco. We have the God Hand to start off this gameplay. They are a regular deck. Victory. Okay, anyway. <laughs> so, so this was always a good snap. As a content creator, I have a dilemma, somewhat of a dilemma. Do I not snap so I can show you how games play out? Or do I actually snap and take it seriously? That way you all can see when to snap and retreat. I have chosen to snap seriously and be very focused on that because that is the game. It's literally in the name of the game and it's also the actual game. So by showing you good snapping and retreating habits, hopefully I'm able to impart a greater knowledge of how to climb and so that's why I'm showing good snapping and retreating over prioritizing showing you how the deck plays out. Let's get to a real game. Next up, we have a washed Runeterra player. Can I get a one drop? Show me a one drop. Fantastic. I'm going to... I will play out Maria Hill here. Oh, this could get in the way if Zabu gets pulled. God. Zabu did indeed get pulled, so now I need to fill out my curve with a 3-drop. Two... I actually don't because of Psylocke. Fantastic. Now, the, the... The content creator in me says to play Wiccan middle. <laughs> because they almost definitely win middle. This is a destroy deck. Venom cleans up. I won't though. I will just play out Wiccan right. Let me do the smart, what I think is the smart play here. Their carnage did get ruined. You figure if they play Venom, middle, Null gets pretty large as well. So we will see what we can do with the extra energy. We got our bonus. Drawing into Wiccan. Ooh, a Sabertooth. I actually have a little bit of a funky Sabertooth deck that I have not unveiled yet. I have six energy. Do I play the Havoc or the Red Hulk? I will get down the Red Hulk. If they, they very well could play Sabretooth and Venom Middle, and then that Null will be humongous. Play Ajax here, Havoc here, and then it's just going to be what we draw into. We will have six energy. I forget if I have Sean in this deck. I should know it's in my deck. 
I usually like to throw him in all of uh, most of my decks just to take out these big threats because they might have a yep I expect a Venom and Sabretooth middle which means they have a oh interesting okay that's curious do I have any one drops? Okay, I do. Hmm. What have they destroyed? I mean, it says nothing. How many saber tooths did they destroy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They ran out of. They did not draw well. And we we didn't draw great either. <laughs> and so our only play really would have been Kyera left. Which gets us to 16, so that's a 12-point advantage, which may have been enough. So I probably would have ended up rolling that die. Ultimately, I was split between playing Havoc left or right. They also could have thought I had a Hazmat, which would have skyrocketed the Ajax, which is always a threat in this deck. So we will take these squeak, squeak out wins. It wasn't pretty. When you watch somebody play a deck, Sometimes it's easy to forget what it looks like on the other side. And this lane was almost always a winner. And then with Ajax here, they're just fully anticipating the hazmat. Now, they should have retreated later, honestly. Ultimately, it looks like, from their vantage point, that we have a lot of power. And if I have another big card I could just slam middle, that would have won middle. So we were, we were well positioned from their perspective, which is an advantage this deck has, especially with the bonus energy. Or not bonus energy, because Havoc's eating it up. But this is a way that the deck can win, and all the wins won't be pretty, so you, you take them when you get them. Okay, next up we are against Crumbum. Nexus. Do I just play Havoc there? <laughs> I will get down Sunspot. What deck is this? A normal deck. There is nothing to do on turn. Who they have Ravona and they played her off. Oh, snap. So this is a huge advantage with Havoc. <laughs> And with Castle Zemo, you throw that sucker to the opponent and watch as they flounder. So that is what we will do. And we will focus on Nexus and Orchis Forge. They are stuck at three energy for the rest of the game. And this is in all likelihood a living tribunal deck. <laughs> so, so good luck. <laughs> Fantastic. You take the location RNG. You saw how I snapped before making that play. Once they played out the magic combined with Ravona, I am positive it is a living tribunal deck. And especially once I see that and the Havocs flipped, it's game over. So if they want to keep playing out the turns, I definitely keep playing them out. I probably do a lot of soaking, get the sunspot up to 10. I have seven turns. It can discount the scar. I can get the red hulk down as well. We were just super well positioned, of course, locking them to three energy is just fantastic. Havoc for the win. Okay, next up we have Nyalora. Can we draw into Wiccan? We have Maria Hill. I will play that out middle. There is Titania who we were going up against. We have Atlantis middle. Baron Mordo? Get Baron Mordo down. Let's see if what I draw into... There's the Wiccan, but I can't... I can if I play Hazmat. So I think that's what I do. 
play Hazmat and Sunspot, and then Wiccan on turn four. So yeah, we're getting down the Wicked, the Hazmat. Maybe I reversed this. Uh, I should have reversed the order to buff the potential play of. Did they really think they were gonna lock me out there? Yeah, to buff Ajax. Do I lock myself? They don't have extra energy. So I will play the Wiccan out now. I'm going to snap into this. This is a junk deck. I don't believe in them. And they haven't really played those many cards. So that's why I'm snapping into this Wiccan play. I'm going to have a bunch of extra energy. So let's see if they try to brick me. Okay, they do. That's okay, actually. The Havoc pull. Because I can also soak with Sunspot. That's fine. We are pretty well positioned. Get down the... Do I get down the Red Hulk or the Ajax? I'll get down... Ajax, well, Havoc is really going to soak. I'll get down the Red Hulk. And I'll do it middle, just in case they Sean middle, that's fine. Okay, we are getting two Limbos. So I will have plenty of turns. So I definitely get down the Ajax left and the kitty middle so that way they can't play a goblin middle to brick me there the hate havoc is growing if we draw into scar that is fantastic okay they effectively bricked us there but they also have to play left And we just have a lot of power. So I'm going to challenge them to beat us. I, of course, play my biggest power card. And yeah, just can you can you beat me? The Havoc's getting buffed along with the Sunspot. Right is super difficult to win. So, well, let's play around the... Let's play around the Sean. I'm gonna play around the Sean here. 11, I would have 11 points. So they would need to play Sean and something else. This is the smarter play. So if they Sean me middle, can they Sean? Ah, uh, they're gonna Sean me right. Oh, they did got, get me. Is there a better way I could have played it? Cannonball. I am not used to seeing Cannonball. One hour later. It would have been playing Red Hulk left. That was my mistake. Instead of Ajax, Red Hulk left should always win this game. Because then I have big power across the board in addition to playing Scar Middle. Yeah, so that's the piloting dynamic of this deck and why it can be difficult and what you need to keep in mind while you're playing. This is a super difficult deck to pilot as this game proved and I piloted it poorly. So rather than blame the, the deck, I'm blaming the pilot. And that's what I wish a lot more players would understand. This deck did not lose me the game I lost me the game. I should have gone left with my Red Hulk because there was the Green Goblin there already, the Titania. So being able to brick me left was a significant problem. So getting the most amount of power there was the smarter play. Okay, next up we have Smog. We get down the Maria Hill first. They have a normal deck we do have a two cost card 
They have a Wiccan deck in all likelihood, seeing Quicksilver. Okoye is okay. Do I play the Zabu out just to YOLO it? I don't need to, so I'll just play down the Okoye. Next turn is three energy, so I could always play the Kitty and the Zabu. I wonder if I challenge them left. <laughs> Do I play out the Psylocke? I think I want to scare them. So I will play the Psylocke and the Kitty here. Let's see if I can scare them to play left and if I decide to, to commit over there. This could be a Absorbing Man. We have Kyera. They would need to have six, play a six power card, which is possible. They have also used all of their energy, so they could play a Wiccan left as well. I have five energy because of Psylocke. I will get down an Ajax. Yeah, they're going to play hard for left. Perfect. So, and I would have actually died to it, but now they are locked left. Do I play Sunspot, Havoc, and Zabu? Question mark? I am Iron Man. An Iron Man. Okay, my Ajax gets buffed. My Ajax really gets buffed. <laughs> so if I play, they have priority too. Oh yeah, man, this was a fantastic game. We we had them. So whereas my last game was poor piloting, <laughs> this game was fantastic piloting because I really by playing the Psylocke whose sacrifice was not in vain. They did not want to lose their cards, so they ended up locking themselves out of this lane. Havoc is getting plus four. All I need is one more power. So if I soak one, and I was going to do that, and then drawing into Hazmat is just perfect, so I was probably going to play Hazmat middle, and I would end up with one power middle. Play Kitty middle two, actually because then I would soak two with Sunspot. So I would be at three points middle. Maria Hill will be at negative one. I would have the two from Hazmat, the two from Kitty, three minus one, four minus one is three. With the Hazmat, it hits all of their stuff. So Ajax goes crazy. Iron Man actually gets debuffed twice in a sense because he gets hit by negative one and then any other card they play there gets hit. So right was not gonna be an easy win for them. So this was a good strong win. We did not have Wiccan unfortunately to bolster the play, but listen, the deck can work without Wiccan. It's super tricky though to make that happen, but this game, we did it. I was able to show a couple of different play lines my camera clearly was blocking my opponent's <laughs> avatar and name because I am still a noob at doing the YouTube thing and switching my camera around. Oh well. This is the second alternative version of the Wiccan deck, like I said during the gameplay, and you got to see if I included the loss is it's very difficult to pilot so you really have to be cautious and careful but you can have fun with this deck if being intellectual is your thing and you can you are able to afford the cards in this deck it's pretty expensive i also would like to again thank all of the members of the channel and thank the people who watch to the end of my videos it's super helpful and i appreciate you okay next up we are against Nuggies, Sunspot, or Maria Hill. 
They are a normal deck. I will throw them... Oh, with Castle Zemo. I'll hold off. If we draw into Havoc, that will actually be fantastic. So let's see what we draw into. I hope it's not a destroy deck. <laughs> Are we two for two on the Havoc snaps? We might very well be two for two on the Havoc snaps. Ooh, it is not a destroy deck. Have fun with your two energy for the rest of the game. <laughs> Have fun. I will get the sunspot down middle. Oh, they're, they're playing it out. <laughs> they are. They are playing this one out. Get down at the sunspot middle. Do I get down the forge? Nah, I won't get down the forge. Oh, maybe it's Patriot. Look at them. Thinking, thinking they they got this. Let's let's do it. Get down Ajax here. Okay. <laughs> there, was, there was only so much they could take. 